When replacing the main valve seat, you will need a suitable holding fixture such as a pipe vise to complete the procedure. With the stem assembly secured, utilize a pipe wrench and a hydrant stem wrench to remove the lower valve plate by turning in a counterclockwise direction. Next, remove the now visible lock washer and lower valve seat from the bottom stem. If the seat ring assembly is damaged, you'll need to remove it before continuing. To do so, pull down on the assembly, disengaging from the notch and the pin on the lower main stem, and replace with a new seat ring and upper valve plate assembly. To install the new main seat, start by aligning it with the lower stem. The larger portion of the main seat should face downward. Putting the main seat on the stem, replace the lock washer and reinstall the valve plate onto the lower stem. Tighten the lower valve plate to 300 foot-pounds of torque. Next, generously lubricate the O-rings and the drain valve facings of the upper valve plate. To reinstall the repaired lower section of the hydrant, gently pick up the valve stem and lower it into the nozzle section. Avoid rolling the O-rings as you install. As the stem falls into place, tighten the seat ring into the drain by turning in a clockwise direction. Once the seat ring is tightened to the drain ring, proceed to remove the operating nut from the seat removal tool and then the seat removal tool from the upper stem. Be sure not to drop the guide off the bottom of the tool. With the bonnet section on top of the hydrant, ensure that the two O-rings in the lubrication reservoir are in place and undamaged. Then, lower the bonnet over the stem sleeve. To reinstall the hardware on top of the bonnet, begin by aligning the bonnet bolt holes with the nozzle section bolt holes. Installing the hex bolts and nuts you removed earlier, but not tightening at this point. On bonnet stop hydrants, reinstall the hex jam nut on the upper stem. Next, grease the upper portion of the bonnet and the exposed stem threads. Proceed to install the operating nut on the upper stem of the hydrant, replacing the thrust bearings removed at disassembly on the upper and lower side of the operating nut. After lubricating the O-ring on the thrust nut, reinstall into the bonnet, turning in the counterclockwise direction until tight. Then, Use the thrust nut wrench to turn the thrust nut in a counterclockwise direction until tight. Using the small hammer, tap it into place. On open right hydrants, reinstall the hex set screw removed at disassembly. Install the weather cap and cap bolt and tighten. Finish by tightening the nuts and bolts on the upper part of the hydrant. The hydrant assembly is now complete.